what we can offer sometimes is um, a technology that's not available elsewhere. Some people use uh, the term barrel medicine as a, a, a specialty of medicine that deals with the application of gases under pressure. I like to define a problem wound as a wound that doesn't heal like it should. But a common denominator of problem wounds is they're all oxygen deprived. Oxygen is the fuel that uh, powers all living cells. And uh, various cells uh, have a greater demand for oxygen than others. The treatment for carbon monoxide is 100% oxygen. Uh, number one, get them out of the uh, environment where the carbon monoxide occurred in the first place. But, uh, and then 100% oxygen. It appears that uh, through some studies that have been done in Utah, that the use of hyperbaric uh, has enhanced outcomes over just the application of 100% oxygen by uh, face mask or non-rebreathing mask, and that there's less uh, problems afterwards, perhaps uh, even faster recovery. So uh, the, the use of hyperbaric for patients overcome with carbon monoxide toxication is somewhat the gold standard for the treatment of acute carbon monoxide intoxication. What we do is the ability of, of hyperbaric oxygen to reverse the vascular injury associated with radiation. Radiation is one of the mainstays of cancer therapy and uh, uh, cancer protocols, but radiation the whole purpose of radiation is kill cancer. But like everything in life and everything in medicine, uh, you get some bad with the good. And, uh, and one of the consequences is that radiation can be quite uh, injurious to the lining cells of blood vessels. And when you harm these so-called endothelial cells, they scar down and you get what is, we describe as an obliterative vasculitis. You literally wipe out the micropipes in a, a zone a radiation field. And if there is an obliteration of the vasculature, you have no way to bring oxygen or antibiotics or glucose or insulin or growth factors or anything it takes to heal. What hyperbaric seems to be able to do is because you can profoundly increase total oxygen pressure and, and concentration, with a course of treatment, you can reestablish that vasculature in an area that has been, uh, uh, there's been significant obliteration of the vascular bed and probably restore it to the tune of 85 or 92 percent. Uh, well, this is our um, uh, Seacrest uh, 3600 uh, unit. It's the biggest one that we have. It uh, works by flow, and uh, there will be somewhere between the three to 400 liters of oxygen that is uh, blowing into the chamber, which then has a re restricted outlet, and that's how pressure is increased within the chamber. So uh, the patient uh, is entirely enclosed, and what we have here are monoplace chambers. They're about the size of the old iron lungs, about uh, 44 inches wide, uh, eight feet long, um, clear acrylic plastic, and they'll, they'll lay on a gurney with pillows, and they'll, they'll be slid into the chamber on a gurney, uh, and then the door is closed, and then uh, oxygen's allowed to flow and pressures increase, uh, but it's 100% oxygen, and with Breathing this 100% oxygen, you get oxygen higher concentrations in the blood and, and accordingly higher co oxygen concentrations in the tissues. Um, and there's a communication system that we, we can talk to them if necessary, uh, tell them what to do, uh, provide them any instruction, uh, et cetera, et cetera. The, the, probably the, the symptom they experience most, it'd be uh, some pressure on their ears 
uh, once a, one, as one would experience as they're flying on a plane. But to help them occupy their time, um, they can watch TV, uh, uh, watch sports. Uh, we've got a whole uh, library of movies that uh, if patients have donated to us over time. Uh, and sometimes they'll stop by a blockbuster and see the one that they've always wanted to see and never have gotten around to it. Um, uh, sometimes just patient, uh, give me two hours where I can sleep and leave me alone and don't bother me. And so it's sometimes uh, uninterrupted time. Uh, they can listen to music. Uh, but the, the total treatment time within the chamber is two hours uh, and a, a, a treatment is at pressure or at depth, if you will, for 90 minutes. And then it takes about eight or 10 minutes to get down to pressure and eight or 10 minutes to come back up again. The facility here started at Clarkson, now an integral part of the Nebraska Medical Center is the only facility between Denver and uh, Des Moines and Sioux Falls and Kansas City. So uh, we have a wonderful opportunity to treat um, a, a number of patients. It, it is covered by insurance and uh, it's uh, in a Medicare covers, it's indicated and covered for reimbursement for 12 conditions, mo uh, most of the ones I just mentioned. And if it can be accepted by Medicare, it can be accepted by most other uh, uh, insurance intermediators. It's a very gratifying to see a limb saved, a patient saved, and the, and the gratification of patients really are, are, are most appreciative. 